Welcome everyone, it's almost game time here at the Pavilion in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've got a great matchup for you today. The Connecticut Huskies take on the Philadelphia Wildcats. Good evening everybody, I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raftery. Bonnie Bernstein will join us later. The Villanova head coach will have his squad ready today, I'm sure. What do you think, Bill? Coach Wright leaves good defense as the backbone of a winning team, Vern. That's always been his philosophy. His game plan begins with a strong defense, and everything else comes around him. The Connecticut head coach leads his team into the fray today. What's your take, Bill? Coach Calhoun could easily be called a teacher instead of a coach for him. To him, every practice is a classroom and every game is a lesson. He wants his kids to learn basketball, not just play it. Foy figures to play a key role today. Foy is a wonderfully talented shooting guard. He has lightning quick hands and terrific anticipation. He'll rack up a ton of steals. Boom should be a main contributor on the other side. Boom is a top-notch power forward. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. Well, let's move out to center court for the tip off. <laughs> Connecticut wins the tip off and the game is underway. Takes the three. Frazier. Corrals the miss inside. Lowry tries the spin move. Corral by Williams. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein, for an update. Just before the game, I caught up with Coach Wright of the Wildcats. He told me when you face a team with this kind of speed, transition defense is key. He said, I told my players I want every one of you hustling back on D, doing whatever you can to prevent the easy buckets on the break. Thank you, Bonnie. Ray passes to the baseline. Reeled in by Boone. The Huskies take it up there. Just over nine minutes left in the half. Hits the quick shot. Anderson. The Wildcats bring it up. They're behind four to zero. Lowry passes it to the left block. Jammed by Frazier. Send it in. There is no stop the big fella, and he gets to the bucket like that. The Wildcats were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. The steal by Ray. Villanova brings it up. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Shoots the turnaround. Misses it. Spins. Passes it to the high post. Puts it up. Drops it in from 13. Way to square up. Love the quick turnaround. That's how you do it, Vern. It's stolen by Gay. Gay dumps it to the middle. Nice job on the assist by Gay. Villanova brings it up. They're trailing by six. The Wildcats were the last ones to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. Brown checks in for the first time. Williams passes inside. V 
Villanova takes it up court. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Sort of a lucky shot there by Lowry. That's not as easy as it looks, Vern. You've got to get just the right angle. Takes it up. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. Crosses it over. Jammed down with one hand by Armstrong. Second steal of the contest. The Wildcats take their first time out of the game. Villanova takes it up court. An eight-point differential. Pass. High post. Four dishes inside. And they call a foul. And he makes the first. He's off on the second. Rebounded inside by Armstrong. Rejected. Williams was hacked and was broken on for a couple. Since the first of two, Sheridan makes his first appearance. He gets them both. Sheridan tries to back him in. Too long, and it was missed by Sheridan. Connecticut brings it up. It's a nine-point spread. Robbed by Nardi. That's his second steal of the contest. The finisher can't finish at the rim. Connecticut brings it up. A basket here would give them a double-digit lead. For three. Armstrong reels in the offensive rebound. Can't extend the lead to double digits. They crash the offensive glass and get the basket by Brown. 